Creating a virtual office on Gather is easy. In fact, it takes less than a minute. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of our templates, along with some tips for choosing the right one for your team. And after that, I'll show you quick customizations so you can make it feel like your own. Let's get started. When you create a new Office on Gather, the first thing you'll do is select the size of your template. We recommend picking a size that actually matches the number of people who will be working with you in Gather. Too small of a template will feel cramped, but too large will feel empty and make it really hard to bump into people naturally. Next, choose your theme. This determines the objects and style that you start with. Last, give your office a name and choose how people can access it. And just like that, you're the proud new owner of a virtual office. Now, before you show it off to your team, we recommend a few light customizations to make it feel really special when they join. First, add your company logo to the lobby. You'll see a sign that says your logo here. Walk up to it and press X on your keyboard. This is a unique interactive object that allows you to upload an image and will automatically resize it to hang on this virtual wall. To continue customizing the space with things that are unique to your team, you can also upload custom objects within the build tool. We see teams using this to add more logo variations, brand icons, or even things like team photos or screenshots of customer feedback. Now that you've personalized the space a little bit, there are two practical things we recommend doing with the map maker before you bring in your team. The first is to add or remove extra desks. Adding extra desks isn't really a problem, especially if you plan to hire more people on your team soon. But you will want to make sure there are enough desks for each member of your team to have their own place to work. To add more desks, you'll first select a desk object. Don't forget to add a chair. After you've added your objects, you'll need to add private tiles in order to make a claimable desk space. Finally, we recommend adding text labels throughout the space. Imagine walking into an office for the very first time. Do you know where people sit? Or where the water cooler chats happen? These things will become obvious to your team over time, but when you're just moving in, Labeling the space can help give everyone the confidence to know that they're using the office correctly. To add text labels, you can use the text tool from within the map maker. Simply click on the map where you want to place the label and use the options on the right to customize what it says and what it looks like. If you enjoy customizing your space, there is so much more you can do to create the virtual office of your team's dreams. But for now, these simple customizations are the perfect place to start. They'll go a long way to help your team understand how to use the space and also feel connected to the office. And that is key for successfully onboarding your distributed team and building a culture of collaboration.